Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negolescu and today I will show you a very powerful wizard that helps you to create Salesforce automation. So, from your iPad Go, please download the Salesforce Lightning platform. Then after you install it on your iPad Studio, you will see that um, you have under your iPad team Salesforce, the Lightning platform system, and you have around 85 activities. Today we'll present the wizard. So we'll drag and drop a Salesforce application scope and we'll start the wizard. What the wizard will do? The wizard will ask you for a model. Today I will give him an Excel uh, file that will go to contacts, yeah? So I will provide the system a model. So let's provide the system a model. I will provide this model with contact. And I will say, I want to put this on contact. Here I have all the, uh, um, the, the objects from the Excel, uh, from the Salesforce activity. And today I will do an add or update. Let's run this. And the system will do a match between what I have on the Excel files and what I have on the Salesforce on my Salesforce instance. If the match is wrong, I have all the fields from Salesforce, you just double click and you can change the match or you can delete the match. Now let's say generate code. And because we select add or update, the system will ask me on what will do the decision update. The decision update will do in an email. If the email is on the Salesforce system, then he will do an update. If the email is not on the Salesforce system, he will do an add. So what you see, define or create all the code for us, Define a data table, do a for each. If we find the email, we do an update. If we don't find the email, we do an add. Now, all the active, all the, the values here are protected. And here in the lead source in currency, so these are combo box on Salesforce. Because our combo box, the system is able to extract all the values and he's able to match the value with the correct value from the combo box. Let's run this one to see how we test it. So what we do for testing, I create an uh, Excel application scope where I read the data, and then I match the data on our data table. Let's see what we have. On Excel, we have three values, Vasile, Yonel, and Stefan. And on our system, we have to modify, which is on test 10, Stefan, which is on Stefan, and we don't have Vasile. So if we run this, this is running on the background, so I can do what I want. For example, I can go on the YouTube, and show you that we have a channel here with a lot of videos, how to work with the, with the Salesforce activity. And in this time, he will finish all the things for me. You have here also a log here. So for the Vasile will do add, and the first, for the last two will do an update. Let's see the result. So if I go and refresh, you will see that uh, we'll have um, the new Vasile deal with, with new add. Yeah, now instead of to modify, it's uh, Ioan Popescu with um, uh, with uh, UAPR test 11 and on Stefan we have UAPR test 11. So you see in a very fast way, I was able to implement a Salesforce process fully protected. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye.